Hey, how are you? So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing these shoes by Christian Louboutin. These are the Socates. They are the 120 mm. I am going to be going over the shoe, how you can spot a fake Christian Louboutin in case they're selling you a pair. And we're just going to be talking about comfort and all that jazz. But if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and Ring the bell so that YouTube can notify you of when I upload a video. So let's jump right in. Now I'm gonna educate you a little bit on the history of Christian Louboutin and why the soles are red. So Christian Louboutin has been around since the 1990s and the brand really gained popularity when Kim Kardashian, all she would do was wear Louboutins. They are a status symbol, but at the same time, they are very beautiful shoes that are very expensive. I'm going to be leaving a link to the Socates, but these shoes average anywhere from the 600s all the way up to like 6,000 or more. Christian Louboutin has said that the reason why his shoes are so expensive is because obviously of the materials he uses. You can find them at Saks, you can find them on the website, they have boutiques and certain malls. So the shoes are popular because of their red sole and that's how you can tell if it's a Christian Louboutin shoe. The reason why the designer, Christian Louboutin, <laughs> I keep saying Christian Louboutin, the reason, the reason why Christian made these shoes with a red sole was because his um, he had an employee who was painting her nails and then he just grabbed that polish that she was using and he painted the soles red. The soles are going to get scratched when you wear them, like just look at mine, but you can get them fixed. If you are going to get them fixed, my advice would be to call the store directly and go with someone who can redo the soles for you because otherwise they're not gonna put the same type of material or at least something that is very similar to how the red soles are. If you notice on the bottom of the shoe, it says Christian Louboutin made in Italy and it says the size. I am a 36. Also the inside of the shoe says Christian Louboutin and Paris, because obviously he's a French designer, but they make them in Italy. A lot of people, what they do is so that they can protect the sole is that they put this plastic transparent sole on top of it. But to do that, from what I know, they have to scrape the shoe. I have another pair of Christian Louboutins that I have to get redone, especially this little bottom part right here that holds the heel together. But if you're gonna get that done, keep that in mind because they do scrape the heel and that's gonna damage the shoe. It really doesn't make any sense. As I told you guys, these are the 100 and 20 mm and mm is just the size of the heel they do have another style that is more comfortable and i think they're called the pigels i don't i think they're called the pigels which is the heel is a lot smaller not to mention that they have another type of material that is not leather like a suede material it's leather on the inside but the outside is suede and those are a lot more comfortable and you can wear them pretty much all the time not to mention that if you don't like really high high heels they do have other sizes but these are the ones that are the most uncomfortable also if you're planning to buy a pair of christian louboutins they do have other sizes but these are the ones that are the most uncomfortable there are websites, like I told you guys, where you can get them at. Other websites offer them at a discounted price. I've seen them at TJ Maxx. And here's a tip. When you go to TJ Maxx, try to find a TJ Maxx that's close to where the boutiques are. Usually those designer stores sell to TJ Maxx and then you can find Christian Louboutins, you can find Manolo's, you can find Valentino's at a very generous price. The bottom of the shoe, like where the sole is, it's not straight. It has like a little dent towards the sides and the stitching. The stitching is very straight and precise and the shoe itself, the cut is very straight and, and precise. This is my personal opinion. I love Christian Louboutin shoes, but I do have to admit that some of the shoes are very uncomfortable and these are super uncomfortable. There are ways in which you can break into the shoe so that they're a little bit more comfortable. You can make good use of a Ziploc bag 
the refrigerator, and water. Yes, if you wanna know how you do that, I'll show that in another video, but let me know in the comments. Why do people get them? And if you're gonna get them, what I suggest you use them for, if you're gonna go out to dinner, you're gonna be sitting and you're not gonna be walking, then wear them. If you're gonna take pictures, I use them for my videos, that's great. But for walking as like a shoe that you would take out and you would walk with them, don't. And the reason is because it has a very deep cut. Also, if you have wide feet, I have wide feet, you can break into the shoe, but if you have thinner feet, then they're going to be a lot more comfortable than if you don't. Now, things that I love about the shoe. So this is a classic style. This, in my opinion, is not gonna go out of style at least in a really long time. And you can dress them up or dress them down. And also, just so you know, these are patent leather, but just so you have an idea, and I've mentioned this in my previous videos, leather ages with you. If you are planning to buy Christian Louboutins, I suggest you go to the store and you try on the shoe. The store does have a red carpet just so you don't ruin the sole. You do have to keep in mind that everything is going to look absolutely beautiful, but really find the pair that resonates with you and that works for whatever you want to use them for. Like for example, if you want to have them as shoes where you're gonna be walking in them. They have beautiful styles to choose from. Also, if for weddings they're beautiful, for 15s, us Hispanics, we celebrate quinceañera. And something that I wanna point out, I didn't get to have my first pair of Christian Louboutins, because don't think that you have to go out and like buy Christian Louboutins, because I have them. Um, I didn't get to buy my first pair of Christian Louboutins after I graduated college. I earned a huge scholarship to a private university because of my grades throughout school before college. And one of the things I said when I graduated was that I wanted to gift myself a pair of Christian Louboutins. They're not these, I have more Louboutins now, but I said that that was going to be a reward for me. Before that, I couldn't afford them. So, you know, I would see them on social media, I would see Kim Kardashian, who was the one I saw mostly wearing them, and I always wanted a pair, but at that time, I couldn't afford them. Once I became a professional and I got my first job in the field of journalism, I said that I went to the boutique and I bought the shoes, and I'm like, girl, you did it. And I did it, and I hope that this information that I'm sharing with you can motivate and empower you to hopefully one day, it doesn't matter what you're going through right now, you're able to work for what you want and to achieve and to get the best things that you deserve for yourself. So I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. I upload videos here on YouTube every single week. For example, if you're thinking of going to Abu Dhabi, I take you to the mosque, I take you to have lunch, at a palace where Fast and Furious was filmed. I also take you to the Burj Al Arab to have dinner. We go to the Burj Khalifa to have breakfast. Also, I take you all around the Mediterranean through Norwegian Epic. Those videos do really good and I'm very grateful. I have fashion videos here on YouTube, but most importantly, I have something that we have to work on on an everyday basis, and that is a positive mindset and just becoming better people so that we can attract good people and good things that we deserve on an everyday basis. Because like I always say, we cannot give something that we don't have. And if you want to receive good people into your life, you have to be good to yourself and be good to others. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you next time.